Hello friends, my name is Habi. Welcome to my channel Obacode. Here we shall be learning different programming languages. Today we are going to learn CSS. Now, before you watch vi this video, make sure to watch our previous video on introduction to HTML. Now, to use CSS, we have to create a new file called CSSCall.CSS. Now, we go into our HTML file, and before you can use the CSS, we have to link our HTML file with the CSS. So, to do that, we write link. L is equal to style sheet and href is equal to css.css. Now we save our HTML file and then we copy the path of the HTML file. And then we paste it, press enter, and you see that nothing has changed. Well, that's because we haven't written any code in the CSS file. Now, before we work with CSS, first let me tell you about ID and classes. Because these are one of the most important things when you are using CSS. An ID is a special property that you can give to any HTML tag. Like, you can give this an ID of H1. And you can give the same ID to the other HTML tag. And you can access ID in CSS by writing hashtag and then the name of the ID which is h1 and you can give the same ID to multiple HTML tags like and give this an ID of h1 this an ID of h1 and an ID will only affect the HTML tag that actually has the ID and classes are just the same thing. They're like IDs. They're just the same thing as IDs. If you want to access classes in CSS, we have to write dot and then you write the name of the class which is H1. Now, we're going to style this, H this H2 element. First, we go into our CSS and then we write font size is 20 pixels. Then we save this and then we reload our browser. You see that this became smaller. increase it to 100 pixels now it became bigger and we can also set the text color by writing color red then we save this and reload our page now it became red but you might be asking, why can't we just write H2 and H1 instead of using IDs and classes? Well, the problem arises when you use multiple of the same HTML tags, like I'm going to make two H1s and two H2s. And if we write H2 font size, 
100 pixels it is going to affect both of the H2s but to see this better we'll reload our page you see that both of the H2s became big and if I write H1 now both of the H1s become big and we don't want that Now, everything's back to normal. There are also borders. We can write border. Five pixels solid. Black. This is going to create an outline around the HTML element but the outline is extending to here if we don't want it to extend to there we have to write width 100 pixels now the border is now here and apart from borders there is also border bottom which will make an underline under the H1 element. Now let me delete this and uh, you can also set the background color to green. Now we save this and we load our file. And you should see a green rectangle around the HTML element. Let me set the font size to 20 pixels. So it can be a bit smaller. Now you can write with 100 pixels and height 100 pixels this will give the rectangle a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels now you can also style html elements in html we can write style is equal to font size 100 pixels if we save this and reload this the h the h2 element has became big but you might be wondering in css if you wanted to style this h2 we'd have to write h2 font size 100 pixels but in html we just write style is equal to font size 100 pixels well it's because we are styling inside of the h2 element so we don't need to reference the name of the h2 element now Anyways, and lastly, I want to show you something called dot h1 hover font size 40 pixels. Now, if we reload this and hover over the HTML element, it is going to become bigger. And you can write dot h1 active font size 10 pixels and if now if we click the html element it is going to become really small and you can write 
cursor. Pointer. This is going to make it so that when we hover over the HTML element, our cursor is going to look as if it was a pointer to make it look as if we are actually hovering over the HTML element. And this is the same thing when we click it, because when we click the HTML element, we are still hovering over it. And lastly, I want to show you transition 0 0.5 seconds. Now, this will make it so that when we hover over it or click on it, it is going to transition its font size but when we click on it we want it to become small immediately so we write transition zero seconds now if we reload this you see is that when you click on it, it becomes small immediately. Anyways, that is all I want to teach I want to teach you for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel, Obacode. Bye!